Who is Jules? Known around the island as the master engineer with an incredibly high intellect, Jules is also the well-known daughter of none other than Midas. However, growing up, Jules was always stuck in her father's shadow, and the two of them are known to have a rather rocky relationship with each other. However, they weren't always on bad terms, and Midas really does care for his daughter, as he's even the one who got her started down her path as an engineer. Now, the rest of Jules' backstory is surrounded by rumors, as nobody knows her exact origins, but it is rumored that Jules was once a princess that was one day accidentally turned to gold by her father Midas, who then had to make a great sacrifice to resurrect her. But her trust in him was forever broken due to this incident. But there are also rumors that Jules aided Midas when he built his device that could combat the island storm. But that is all the information surrounding her backstory, and now we can move on to when we officially met Jules in Chapter 2, Season 3. During this season, Midas' device had just failed and he had been sent into the loop where he had gotten eaten by a shark. But back on the real island, Jules had been left to fend for herself as she was now the last standing leading member of Shadow, a spy organization that fought for control of the island. But with Jules now being in charge, she's decided to use this organization's remnants as her way to step out of her father's shadow. Jules spent her time during this season rebuilding the world in her own way, as Jules' philosophy differs greatly from her father's. See, so Midas may do beneficial things for others, but that's only when it aligns with his own selfish endeavors. Jules, on the other hand, cares greatly about the island and those around her, and wants to create a world that is beneficial for everyone. And she had actually done a rather good job of cleaning up her father's mess, or that was at least until the Marvel cast showed up in Season 4. Jules from this point had become a frequently reoccurring character throughout the Fortnite seasons. She seemingly helped defend the island against Galactus, then later in Season 6 we saw her again, seemingly now working without any of her father's resources. However, it was some time between this season and the end of Chapter 2 where Jules joined up with the Imagined Order for unknown reasons. But unlike many of the IO's members, she still always had the island's best interests in mind, as she's built various relationships of her own with others on the island. We then saw Jules again in Chapter 2 Season 7 during Cosmic Summer. Somehow Jules had reunited with her father and his agents, and this group was on some sort of undercover mission. But surprisingly, Jules also took this time to try and fix her relationship with her father, which must have worked to some extent because they were working together for a while after this. As we do know that in the last couple of Chapter 2 seasons, Jules, Marigold, and Midas were planning something, but this plan never came to fruition as Jules once again had a falling out with Midas' crew, and Midas also had gone missing around this time. After this, Jules disappeared for quite some time as well, but she was most likely working with the Imagined Order, but knowing how Jules cares about the island so much, she was most likely acting as a spy for the Seven side and escaped before the collision event, as Jules in her Scrap Knight armor re-emerged on the island during Chapter 4, Season 1, where she was now working under the Ageless in the Oathbound Empire. She used her tech skills to modernize their medieval equipment and structures, and the Ageless was so impressed with her work that he tasked her to work with the Rift War and Stellan on his rift gate. However, Jules wasn't as loyal to the Oathbound as the Aegis had thought. Jules was only working with them to find out more about the Chapter 4 island, and who better to answer her questions than a snapshot of Geno himself. But by working closely with the Ageless, she started to see how this snapshot of Geno was also losing his mind in the same way that the original had. So when Jules was one day approached by Evie, the two had struck a deal that was for the sake of the island, and it was then that Jules sabotaged the rift gate pulling Evie's home mega city to the island. Jules then escaped the Oathbound Empire, leaving behind no trace that she was at fault for what had happened. Jules then went into hiding in Mega City and lived among the syndicates there for the rest of Chapter 4, which is why we have a snapshot of Jules with technology similar to Mega Cities. And as for the tattoos being different, let's be real, Chapter 4 was such a mess due to lack of proper leadership, so this was probably just overlooked as these tattoos are actually how they looked on her original concept art. But finally, let's wrap things up with Jules' most recent story in Chapter 5. Marigold had reassembled Midas' old crew and taken them to the Chapter 5 island, as she had gotten a tip that Midas was trapped there in the underworld. And she was right. Midas had now broken out of the underworld and reunited with his old crew. After Midas escaped, he reconnected with Jules and told her how proud he was of her, and that he hoped that she hadn't stepped too far out of his shadow and left him behind. While Jules had originally been hesitant to even go looking for her father, now that she had seen him again with her own eyes and had a conversation with him, 
him. She was just glad to see him back in her life. And the two were finally on good terms once again. Jules was then told by Midas how Hades was able to suppress his golden touch abilities with his chain and asked Jules if she could design him some gauntlets that would allow him to control his curse. And Jules, with the help of some loopers, was able to do exactly that. And now this old crew had reformed the Shadow Organization and are sailing off to their next mission. But while Jules may be working with her father once again, she's become more independent than ever over time, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see her out on her own again in the future. But we'll just have to wait and see what this engineer still has up her sleeves.